How to add a quiz to your Wix website. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll show you two different methods to do so. So let's just go ahead and get started. I know it says Wix Studio on the top left, but this video is for Wix, not Wix Studio. We will be using the uh, normal Wix editor, not the Wix Studio editor. So with that being out of the way, we can just go ahead and get started by clicking on Edit Site and waiting for this to load. So once this loads in, I'm just going to show you exactly what you need to do. Okay, so to get started, once you are, uh, you know, loaded into your site editor, you just wanted to go ahead and add the section anywhere or wherever you actually want to add the quiz. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm just going to put it in the home page. Um, and now for the time being, it's empty. Yes, but we can just go ahead and get started with adding a quiz by going to the uh, apps section from the left panel. Now, this is going to be the first method, which is going to be using some apps that are in Wix app market. So we can just go and search for a quiz. And there's actually plenty of different apps that are going to help us out with this. Uh, Quizzle is one of the best to use. Um, and you can just go in and, you know, we can start with Quizzle, but there are also, you know, other options out there if you don't like this one specifically. Click on add to site. Uh, and we can just go ahead and get started by uh, creating our quiz. After reading these, you will need to agree to them. And we can just wait for it to be added to our site. And then pretty much Quizzle is going to open up for you. If not, you can just go to quizzle.com and you can just click on get started and basically create your quiz and embed it in your site. Now, um, I'm not going to do the Quizzle one because it does actually require to uh, require for you to upgrade in order to do it, uh, to do it and show it on your site. So I'm just going to jump into the other methods. So for first, the first method is just going to apps, uh, and you know there are going to be plenty of apps to use for this specific uh, you know quiz making. Now the thing that I actually prefer to do is go to commonninja.com which is pretty much a third party application, which is going to allow us to add plenty of different widgets, including a quiz widget. So we can just go and start from there. And if you only use one widget, it's actually going to be for free. So I'm just, I'm just going to show you what to do here. So just, just go to commonninja.com, um, as you can see on the screen, and then we can just go ahead and uh, click on login on the top right. You can create your account for free. But in my case, I already have an account and I already have a widget. I'm just going to delete that. And OK, we can just go and get started by creating a new widget. So click on create a widget and then you just want to search for quiz and you will find this one quiz maker. So just go ahead and click on quiz uh, maker or create a quiz. And once you do that, this is actually going to open up here for you and you can basically adjust it to your liking. Now, there are going to be a lot of things that you can adjust when it comes to details, when it comes to questions, each question is going to have its own image, uh, choices, uh, you know, what type of question is actually going to be, whether it's a open question or choices. Um, and you can also set up the answers for them, obviously the Im uh, images for them and everything in here as well. So you can actually see um, all the questions in here. If you want to add more questions, you can just go in and do that and do more things here. Uh, and you also have the post submission was actually going to show up for um, the people that actually submit the quiz. And not only that, but we can actually go to the layout section here and change the entire layout and colors, background, primary and everything. So just go and select your quiz, create it, make sure you um, are happy with it and then you can just click on save changes on the top right and save it in any place you would like and click on publish or just copy this code right here and now we can just go ahead and go back to our Wix website go to add elements and we just want to go to embed code and then we just want to embed HTML Double click on it, make sure it's on code, and then just go and paste the code in and click on update. And we can just go and resize this to our liking. So it is going to be more suitable for our site. And this is pretty much all for this video.
So hopefully you found it to be helpful and thanks for watching.